Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm super excited to show you seven hidden features in One UI 8 that Samsung never really shouted about. So these are little gems that can seriously upgrade your productivity, creativity, and everyday use. So stick with me, we'll get through all the seven features. I'll show you how to use them and why they matter the most. So let's dive in. So feature number one is your Samsung Notes cover. So this feature lets you assign or show a cover page or a front preview for your notes file. So this is essentially a thumbnail or a stylish cover view, giving your notes a nicer visual feel, making it easier to spot the one you want. So it's like a book cover, but for your digital notes. So let me show you how to create this. So here we'll go ahead and first open up the notes app. So as you can see, these are all the cover notes which I've generated in the past. So this is one for the simple dad. This is one for some math problem. This is one for like a PDF. So let's go ahead and create one. So for example, we'll go ahead and take one, this one here, brainstorm idea, we'll go ahead and long press on this. Then we'll tap on more, and it will tap on generate cover. So AI will basically generate the cover for you. So here you can apply this cover to your notes. If you don't wanna apply the cover note, then you can go ahead and deselect it or press cancel. But however, I wanna go ahead and apply this note cover, so I'll press done. And that note cover has been applied to your Samsung notes. You can also set your own thumbnail to a cover page. So here is an example. I've set this picture from my gallery as a thumbnail. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and open up a project. So we're going to this one here. We'll tap on the plus sign and we'll tap on image. We'll go ahead and choose an image. So let's just say, for example, this picture here. Now we'll go ahead and enlarge this picture and it will tap on back. And now as you can see, the thumbnail has been already generated for this. So this becomes like a cover for that Samsung note. So with this, you have better visual organization. You can glance through your notes and immediately see which one is which by the cover style or the preview. This speeds up navigation in Samsung notes, especially when you have many files. And this adds a dash of personalization. So your notes look more polished, not just bland text files. Feature number two is your drawing assist with new styles. So while Drawing Assist existed before, One UI 8 elevates it with a new style, filter option, and assistive AI tools. So for example, you might get new brush styles, texture overlays, or AI-assisted sketch-to-image enhancements. So let me show you where you can get this. So here we'll go ahead and open up the Edge panel. We'll tap on Drawing Assist. We'll go ahead and make this in full screen. So now here, as you can see, we can go ahead and draw something. We can go ahead and add a picture or we can go ahead and explain this in text. So we'll go ahead and just draw something for now. So I'll just go ahead and draw a rocket into, now we'll go ahead and use the drawing assist styles, which are available here. So as you can see, there's only about five styles available, but if you tap on view all in one UI eight, they've introduced six more styles. So these are all the different styles which they've introduced. So you can go ahead and choose whatever you like. I like the 3D cartoon, so I'll stick with that and I'll tap on generate. So using my drawing with the drawing assist style, I can go ahead and create myself a picture or an emoji or maybe a sticker and use it in my messages. So this helps even a non-artist get clean and refined sketches. So the new styles let you experiment. So you have different styles like watercolor, ink, comic style without needing any external apps. And this reduces the manual tweaking you normally have to do. So drawing becomes faster, cleaner, and more fun. Feature number three is your renaming file suggestions. So with this, when you save or export a file, One UI 8 may suggest a more intuitive or a context aware file name. So this is based on the content and the date and many other things. So rather than just leaving you with new note one or untitled, it's a smart auto rename assistant. So let me show you how to get this. So here we'll go ahead and open up the My Files. And let's just say I'm going to Downloads. I'll go ahead and look at one of these PDF files. So I'll go ahead and long press on this, tap on More, and then tap on Rename. So now, as you can see, this is already giving me some suggestions. So rename suggestions is giving me that it's something from Drive. So it, know, it knows that it's, it's been downloaded from the Drive. So it's giving a context of maybe Drive, and then it's giving a date, and then maybe a number which is found on the document itself. So if you're happy with that, you can go ahead and tap on that, and then go ahead and tap on Rename. So this will rename that item. Let's go ahead and choose another one. So this is like a council text bill. It's an image, and as you can see, it's been downloaded from Google Chrome, so that's correct. It has a date, and it has some 
reference number as well. So you can go ahead and choose the suggested renaming name. So this helps prevent messy naming conventions. You know how your file library gets out of control. It saves you time, so you have fewer moments spent manually typing file names. This makes search or sorting easier because file names become more meaningful automatically. Before we move on, I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone watching, liking, and sharing. Your support means the world to me, and it's what keeps me motivated to dig into these hidden features and bring them to you. If you're enjoying this video so far, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me big time. All right, let's get back into the features. Feature number four is where you can hide content while locked for notifications. So this feature allows you to completely hide content. So like your notifications, when your device is locked. On your lock screen, instead of showing message snippets or sensitive info, it'll basically show hidden content or nothing at all until you unlock it. So let me show you how to see this setting. You wanna go ahead and bring down your quick panel menu, tap on settings, scroll down, find notifications. From here, you wanna find hide content while locked. So here, currently it's set to show always. So this will basically show me all the notification content. If you go ahead and choose hide when locked, so this will basically show you only what notification is coming from. However, it won't show you the content. Here at the bottom, you can go ahead and choose apps to set to show notification while locked. You can go ahead and set this separately. So to do this, you wanna go ahead and go back, go to app notification, find your app. So for example, Among Us, let's go ahead and enable this. Now you wanna go ahead and scroll down and you wanna go ahead and show or hide content when locked. So go ahead and choose your settings. So you want to show always or hide when locked. So this way you can basically add an exception into that settings. So this adds an additional layer of privacy. So prying eyes won't see your message or details. So this is good for when you hand your phone to someone briefly and don't want them seeing previews. So this is a peace of mind when dealing with confidential messages, banking or work apps. Feature number five is where you can sort and filter notifications. One UI 8 gives you more granular control over a notification panel. So you can sort by priority, time, app, or filter to show only certain categories, like only messages, or only system alerts. So essentially this is a cleaner, smarter management of what you see first. So let me show you where to find the settings. Go ahead and bring down the quick panel menu, tap on settings, scroll down, find notifications. From here, you wanna find sort and filter notifications. So here you can go ahead and sort it by time or by priority. Go ahead and choose whatever you like. And then over here, you can go ahead and choose all these different settings. So you can filter notifications by older notifications, background activity, and minimize notifications. So this way you won't lose important alerts among the noise. It helps you focus, only see what matters at a glance. This saves time, no endless scrolling to find that one urgent notifications. Feature number six is your split screen, 10 to 90 ratio. So this is a leaner form of split screen. So instead of 50-50 or 70-30, one UI 8 allows a 10 to 90% split. So one app stays small, like a sidebar or floating tool, while another takes nearly full screen. And you can go ahead and switch between these apps. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and open our recent apps. And let's just say, for example, I wanna put my files into split screen mode. And I'm gonna go ahead and choose the drawing assist. So now, if you wanna go ahead and work on your My Files, you can go ahead and drag this center bar to the bottom here. So this is a 90 to 10% ratio. You can go ahead and start working and do whatever you like. Now, when you're done with this, or you wanna go ahead and switch to another app, you can go ahead and tap on the bottom bar here, and this will move over to your Drawing Assist app or the other app. You can go ahead and do your stuff here again. Once you're done, you can go ahead and tap on this top bar here, and this will basically switch to the other app. So you can go ahead and switch between these two apps instantly with just a tap. No more resizing with this line here. So this is great for reference apps like dictionary, chat, or note, all is visible while working on the main app. So it's less intrusive than traditional splits. So you maintain a focus on the main task while still having access to the secondary. And this is useful for multitasking without feeling crowded. And lastly, feature number seven is where you can open apps in pop-up view from recent app screen. So in the recent app screen, instead of just switching between full screen apps, you can now tap an app and choose to open it in pop-up view. So this is faster than just tapping on the app and then opening in pop-up view. So the most common way of opening something in split screen or pop-up view is by opening up this task manager here or the recent app view. 
tapping on notes at the top here, and then you can go ahead and select what you like, split screen or pop-up view. Let me show you a quick way of opening it in pop-up view or split screen by just going to your recent app screen. So go ahead and open your recent app screen. Go ahead and choose the app. So for example, this one here, long press on this. Go ahead and choose where you want to drop it. So split screen mode or the pop-up view. I'll go ahead and choose in pop-up view. And now this is in pop-up view. So like this, you can go ahead and open up any app in pop-up view instantly. So you have a quicker multitasking. You don't have to leave the recent view or hunt through app menus. It's a flexibility. So pop-up view lets you overlay apps, resize and drag. And this is like a seamless workflow. So you can check a message while staying in your current app without full screen switch. All right, that's all seven of those lesser known One UI 8 features that Samsung didn't exactly spotlight, but they can seriously level up your daily use. So use those tips, play around with them, and you'll see your workflow, creativity, and privacy all get a boost. So if you found value in this video, please be sure to comment and subscribe. Seriously, it helps more than you know. And also tell me in the comment section down below which feature you're most excited to try, or if you discover something else that I missed. Thanks for all your support. See you in the next video. Like, comment, and subscribe.